and now we're seeing that the NHS is on its knees. We should have listened to those junior doctors. And again, we should listen to the teachers who are teaching our children. We should, listen to, we should listen to the train drivers when they raise safety issues because we don't listen to those people who are at the metaphorical coalface who are actually dealing with... Whether he has known that the malfunction last year was reported at the time to the US president, nor whether the new president has been briefed about it, and nor who decided to cover it up, the UK government or the US. We're here at Downing Street today to join thousands of protesters who are saying no to Donald Trump as a bigoted bully and the policy that he's putting in the USA of detaining refugees and detaining migrants. We believe that refugees are welcome here and that we need to provide a welcoming home for migrants from around the world. Trump is peddling divisiveness and discrimination and we will hold him to account every time he does it. We will rise up in solidarity with people from Yemen, from Somalia, from Iran, from Iraq, from Libya, from Sudan and from Syria. Aren't these the actions of someone who doesn't have yet the experience, who's learning very fast in a new job? No, I think they are the actions of a racist bigot and we have to stand up to bullies and that is what the UK should be doing. When the kind of Brexit which is being set out is so profoundly damaging to the people of this country and when it's being pursued in profoundly undemocratic ways with the absence of a white paper, the absence of safeguards for our economy and with no guarantees for our key social and environmental priorities either.